What you got? <laughs> <laughs> I guess gaming skills don't translate to art. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of Draw Art. Today I get the luxury of being a judge with me. I have Les Phoenix and Matt Edwards. You guys were judges before? Yo. Or sorry, you were contestants yes. before. Yes. And yep. so today, today you guys get to revenge on Admiral. So, or you could be fair. So I don't know. Yeah, we'll, see. we'll see how we feel today. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how we feel. Admiral um, was nice to me, but we'll see how we feel. Definitely all, all right. about the art. All right, well, let's get started. Your first character is a Bokoblin from Breath of the Wild. Go! Let me get the picture for you guys. So, uh, I mean, who do you think's the, the strongest competitor at the moment? So, I'm gonna be honest, I know Brad is really good at drawing. He does, uh, if you guys didn't know on Couch Notes on Twitch, he does, uh, he does these uh, uh, 30 second drawings. So essentially he has an edge here. He has the advantage. Uh, I'm looking at Stigmas right now. Um, I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> I'm very confused right now. Uh, and Admiral, uh, 20 seconds by the way. Uh, Admiral's going kind of ham here. So yeah, I'm gonna say Brad. I think Brad has the advantage here. What about you? What do you think? Uh, I mean, I, I've seen I've seen Admiral draw before. He's pretty good when he's not drawing bacon. So, uh, and uh, I mean, you do bring up a good point. Brad has well, I've never seen Stigma's art skill at all. And time. Your pants now. Your pants. Before we go forward, who? Jesus. Who do you think has the advantage here before you look um, at their drawings? I'm gonna have to say Brad. Brad? I think that's he's all, got some good that's where I'm potential. Going. All right, so let's start. Um, Matt, I'm gonna let you judge first so we can go in order. Okay. All right, go all ahead. Right. Cool. Go ahead, Brad. Three. Yeah, just, just do it. Just do it at this point. Do you really one at a time or alter? We'll do one at a time. Just okay, okay, it. cool, cool, cool. All right, all right. Uh, the Brad. Uh, all right, all right. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, can you? Explain to me what's on his head. Yeah, so I, I fucked up a little bit. <laughs> so I, initially, I initially started giving like Pikachu ears, right? I'm like, nah, they're, I think they're a little floppier. So this one here, he's kind of just like, what's up? Mm -hmm. And then this one's kind of drooping, but then he's got like the axe, right? Mm -hmm. So like, this is like the top of the axe. It's, okay. it's, a little, okay. it's a little abstract. Yeah, no, at first I thought he had like some weird hat on, but now that you, yeah. now that you mentioned yeah, that, I do, I do yeah. see the, the club. Uh, can, I see, can I see the actual uh, picture? Yeah. Real quick, that we're using as a reference. Well, I think I think I have my score. I think I have my score. Okay. You uh, you are missing a a key feature being the the horn. Uh, they do have horns. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's what that is. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, but not not too bad. I, I get the gist. I, I I get what what's going on. His his one hand's like really funky. Like it just kind of turns into a coil or something. Uh, I'm gonna give you a. I'm gonna give you a seven. We'll give you a solid seven. Okay, Keep going them, down. Yeah. All right, Admiral. Let, let's see what you got. We got the accessorizing. We got the the flappy little ear, ears, and we do have a horn on this one. Kinda. It does not look very happy. Oh, it's a uh, I mean, this one's pretty damn happy. And uh, is it a vampire too? What? No. It has wings. I mean. I guess they do to a degree, but like it, it, it yeah, your your mouth your mouth looks a little funky. This look, is a judge's little, revenge little from mixed. last episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were pretty I mean, last time. I could I could because I am able to judge at my own discretion, which uh, you you weren't you weren't apparently aware of the last time you were on the other end of this. I could just give you a zero, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fair. I'm gonna try to be uh, pretty. Honest about this, uh, I will give you an eight. Wait, like, why did you give? What did you give, Brad? I got, gave him a seven. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. giving you an eight because you have the horn. You got a little bit more of a, a point above, and you have some accessories. So that's just what saying, I'm just from last episode, you're the person he treated the nicest. So you shouldn't be giving him any zeros. I know. I know. I said I could because I felt very bad for Blaze, but <laughs> but let's go to stigma. What you got? Ain't <laughs> that pig left a week ago? 
It's Terrier um, Mom. <laughs> Moment time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, they have fun in the walking on Master Mode. Uh, I, I see. I see. It's got some war scars, tribal markings. I, I, I did. I did get that stigma. Um, I was not expecting this, but you did get a horn. You did get a horn. And the pig. I. Goes. I just. Why does he have like one giant tooth? <laughs> It's not, it's, th th like, they're supposed to have it's pets. not, e like, they're, they're supposed to be somewhat menacing. This, 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 this thing isn't menacing at he all. He looks like he's having a good time. He looks like he's having a good time <laughs> in his, in, in his, like, Speedo on the beach. Like, that's not the it's one the I would kill. It, it looks like Speedo. <laughs> it does not look like a loincloth. What's your score for that, Matt? Ah, uh, I mean, I kind of get it, but at the same time, it's, I look at my other two, and then I get to this one. I'm like, ah, we're gonna give that a four. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with a four. <laughs> I apologize, but at least you got some points on the board. All right, Brad. I like the club. Thank you, thank you. you did forget the horn, yeah, right. but you got the you got the club, and I like that a lot. Uh, you gave him pants. It was okay. So it was supposed to be like the Louis cloth, but I ran out of time. So it was supposed to be drapery. Well, okay. But I understand that it is a missing feature of my book of I'm not going to judge you on your missing, like, his man boobs and, like, belly button and stuff. You want to make him feel, you know, But I'm going to give that, I'm going to give that, I'm going to give that a, I'm going to give that an eight. Like, yeah, yes. I'm going to give that an eight. <clears throat> uh, Admiral, uh, you went simplistic with it, and I like the ears. Uh, you really nailed the ears, really got the, uh, the horn. Uh, you even got the little bling in the necklace. They all wear skull necklaces. All of them? Most of them. Oh, that is true, yeah. Ooh, so not all of them. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, I know this just happens to be played that way, but you also have the red marker. I do. So, uh, I'm going to give you nine for that. I think that was pretty good. That's okay. They're blue and black, too, so. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And then stigma. Um, wow. So, did you ever, did you ever see the... Uh, What's the pizza place, Little Caesars, where like he has the sta the he has the staff with the little pizza at the end? That's what that looks like. <laughs> uh, he looks like something you will see in a like Cartoon Network show <laughs> or an Adult No, that looks like something you'll see in an Adult Swim show late at night when you're super stoned. Uh, I'll be it's honest. Like Billy's. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like something out of Ice Age. <laughs> the shit is I I'm gonna give that a four. I can't I can't do too much with that. All right, um, so I'll start with Brad. And I have to say, out of all three of them, yours looks like a bow goblin. Because the ears are on point, <laughs> the teeth are frightening, and the expression of that face is very frightening. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you didn't get the horn, you didn't get the loincloth because of time. I mean, the, shit happens, so. You've been there. She guessed it. I've been there, trust me. <laughs> um, so I'm going to give that a, a definite eight. Ooh. Yep. All right, so for Admiral, Oof. well, I'm going to try and leave the past in the past here. <laughs> Actually, give him a zero. <laughs> but, no, that's going to be for the later. Um, Just you're, I mean, it does look like a book goblin. I'll say you got all the details right. But I have to say, when I look at it, I see bat. I see the, the fangs and the bat that's ears. The they, have. they have fluffy ears like bats. But if you look compared to Brad's, his yeah, are like detached, animal. so Debating. yours are kind of like all connected to the head. It's not, they're, that's, that's they're attached to earlobes. I mean, are you really into existence? Because that's not exactly you're how You're arguing so, with the judge. You're not really helping your case here. Yeah, you're, you're gonna, arguing with the judge. I'm going to deduct some points for that. So oh. We're going to go with a four. Oh, oh my God. Yep. Now we'll know how bad she's going to score you. Based on what she scores, stigma here. Because if he gets a four or higher, like... you can give him a nine or higher, and I won't be upset. <laughs> good try. That's that's what I'm gonna start off with. Because good criticism first. Good try. Um, this is definitely the highlight of my day. This is not a bow goblin. <laughs> okay, well, he is a little bit. He's not doing much damage with that toothpick, but. Um, his ears are really cute compared to all the other ones. They're just kind of like 
Like, he looks happy to be a Bokoblin, but he's not, so <laughs> that's... He's proud of who he is. <laughs> we all need time. We all need time. So I'm sorry, Stigma, but I'm gonna give you a two for that one. Whew. Damn, niggers. All right, guys, I switch runs. Uh, erase your board. Damn it. The next thing you're drawing, it's Epona from Ocarina of Time, and go. Does time frame matter? We're talking young Epona, big Epona? Either, either. Oh, these erasers. All right, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna be honest here. Uh, I think this is between Brad and Admiral. Uh, <laughs> unless Snickerbell pulls a miracle and does like spare it or something from. I, I mean, guess. or a miracle could happen and these two just lose their fingers. Yeah, that like, could. I mean, I was thinking back on giving him a two. It's probably the best he's gonna do this whole round, <laughs> yeah. if we're being honest. <laughs> wow, you you're predicting it that that well already? Yeah. We just I mean... saw one image from him. <laughs> By the way, I did try all these and. Uh, I can't draw a horse, I tried. I can't, I They're even difficult. tried going the route of drawing like a donkey and then adding horse features to it, and it didn't work. So, 50 seconds, boys. I'll be interested to see what they can do. Definitely with one minute. <laughs> Definitely, I feel like this is the most generic thing out of Legend of Zelda, so Five they seconds. should be able to get it. They yeah. should be able to, maybe not. And markers down. All right. Go ahead, Brad. Or, sorry, go ahead, Matt. That's what I meant. <laughs> All right, Brad, show me what you got. <laughs> um, <laughs> my throat <wrong> face. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get it to look like a dog with dreads? I fucked up. <laughs> so like, okay. Thank you. I was doing the thing you do with the pen, like you draw the shape and then you erase the finer details. Mm -hmm. That shit don't work with markers very well. So like this line here shouldn't be there. Okay. It's, it's a little. I get it. It's a little fucked. I mean, I, I, it looks. It does. It kind of looks like a nose. So don't beat yourself up too much. I mean, the mistake happened. But like, if you didn't say anything, I would have believed it was just a nose mark. Yeah. Um, but like I said, it, it kind of leans more towards like Labrador Retriever <laughs> than Epona. I'm gonna give you a four. Okay. I'm gonna give you a four. I mean, it, it, it was it, 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 it was a valiant attempt, but it doesn't look like a horse. So it, it sort of looks like a horse, kinda. All right, Admiral, let me see what you got. That looks like a dragon. I'm bad with the anatomy of horses, so. You see that unicorn thing? That is quite the shortcut right there. Definitely looks like a. So we have a dog and a dragon, but we have yet to have a horse. So um. Its front leg is like super thick compared to the rest of its body. It looks like it, 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 it almost the body the body style looks almost like a salazzle. Like weirdly enough, like weirdly skinny. He no, skipped he skipped um, body day. I just <laughs> He's one nurse. Uh, uh, I'm gonna give you four as well. Okay. I get, I get, I get, give you the same as Brad. I mean, a valiant effort, but not necessarily what I'm looking for. Let's see if stigma. Stigma. Gets a four. What you got? <laughs> I guess gaming skills don't translate to art. Uh, he's really trying here. Okay. This looks like an animal cracker. It's it's got a saddle. It does have a saddle. I mean, animals didn't have a saddle. It looks like a leg. The, like the, 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 the tail. I know that's supposed to be a tail, but it looks like another leg. It does. So or a big old poop. Once. We, we, were bring, we were bringing up things that you would find on an adult swim late at night. This is probably another one of those things. Same as episode. Uh, it's got a badonkadonk. <laughs> like crazy. I'm going to give you I'm going I'm to give you a one. I'm going to give you a one. A, a little bit of a point to, to, because you attempted something and it's it, it was better than Blaze's electrode, but yeah. I thought you were harsh. Yeah. Oh, alright. <clears throat> Brad. I'm not going to say anything about the body, uh, but have you ever watched Full Metal Alchemist by any chance? Not yet. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say that. Yeah. After Black Clover and Jojo. <laughs> uh, it definitely looks like a fusion between a human and a horse. Uh, People who watch this know all of that. Referring to the dog girl? Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. exactly what that That's looks exactly like. That's exactly what I I'm thought. going to have nightmares about that tonight. <laughs> However, um, I like you're the only person who drew the body uh, closest to horse, uh, so I'm going to give you a five. Okay. 
Admiral. Uh, Thank you. So, what did you give Admiral? Four? Four. So, I'm going to be a little more gracious. I love Red Eyes Black Dragon right there. Um, <laughs> I think you did a phenomenal job. Um, however, uh, it does look like a dragon. You did get the little line in the middle. Yes. Um, if you just would have drawn a little bit more of the body. Yeah. Uh, when yeah. I started drawing the head, I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I ran out of space. So I just drew, like, <laughs> the neck and the leg, and then that's it. Uh, the reason it looks like a dragon is actually the eyes, because the opponent's eyes are just black. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give it a five. Not I'm bad. Gonna... Like, like that? Yeah, Brad's eyes were a little bit. So six points. All right, so, Stigma, for <laughs> you, I actually had to pull this picture. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Satch Bell. There's a little thing called Ponygon. Oh. <laughs> You, if this was Satchbell and you drew that, you would have won. You would have gave you a 10 points. However, uh, this is not Satchbell, so I can tell that. So I'm going to have to give you one for that. Also, it looks like, it, I guess that horse is balding. It has random hairs. And it's <laughs> <laughs> that, that, this horse is more nourished. It has not been fed. Uh, it has Balonka Dunk there. It has a little uh, absolute dump truck in there. Uh, Honestly, if there's ever a Satchbell episode, I recommend that you go into it. You will get a perfect 10. <laughs> go ahead, Liz. Okay, Brad. So, I'm not going to repeat Princeton here and say that, that what that looks like, because that's exactly what I thought of. But that saddle is on point. I have to say, it is a very good saddle. The anatomy's a little off, the tail's a little crazy compared, and the mane just looks like human hair. I feel like have a nice full mane, so um, I'm gonna have to give you a four on this one. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're being kind of like harsh. With these, yeah. He asked to right. draw a horse, and none of them really provided. Okay. <laughs> you tell me if you walk into a kindergarten class and show them this, they're gonna be like, "Oh, that's a horse." They're you gonna have nightmares. Dog. You're a dog. <laughs> All right. Every one of those kids watch Full Metal Alchemist too. I bet. <laughs> All right, Admiral, I appreciate the effort. I think it looks like a horse. Um, it, I can understand where it, people would say dragon, but it's the, the jawline, the mane's full. It's got the little stripe on the nose. I see horse. I think you shot yourself in the foot by drawing just the head, though. I'd like to see more of the body. Um, so I'll give you a five. Ooh, okay. Wait, what did you get? <laughs> I'm sorry, you let me down. You let me down, Brad. Yeah. All right, Stigma, okay. So, I didn't want what I said to be true, but I'm pretty sure your Bill was better. Oh my god. And I gave that a two. Oh. So, for this one, I'm going to keep that in mind. I mean, the hair just looks like pubes. I mean, I can't... <laughs> <laughs> Pony pubes. <laughs> so, that... Um, That's a score up there. I mean, it looks like a reject from Monster Hunter. Like, Yikes. like it almost could be there, but it's not. The hot, the eye looks soulless. It's the concept art for Kira. <laughs> but since I gave your Bokoblin a two, I'm gonna give this one a six. What? To outweigh the difference there, and also to piss off Admiral. <laughs> Whoa! All right, guys, piss off Admiral. Yeah. <laughs> Erase your driver reports. And let's go into round three. All right, you are drawing the Majora's Mask. Go. I think this one's pretty hard. Uh, I mean, it could get tricky when, when, if we're going to jump into detail. Yeah. This is yeah. a very detail-heavy mask. Oh, Admiral, right there, look at the skill. Yeah. He's using his finger to erase. I'm impressed speed. with that. Yeah. Erase one. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm very much looking forward to Stigma's though. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually, I'm going to be honest, I think Stigma is the MVP of this uh, this particular episode. This episode because like, he's bringing a lot of joy by his <laughs> uh, creative choices that he's... Yes. Is that what, what we want to call them? What? Creative choices? So I just saw Brad doing math. <laughs> <laughs> so I just saw him. <laughs> I, 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 think I, I think I caught him like trying to catch the wind a little bit like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you have 10 seconds, 5 seconds, 4, 3, 2, 1, put your markers down. Before you reveal, how confident are you? Uh, mine's not as clean as I would like it to be. Admiral, how confident? Mine's not bad. 
Stigma, you want to give us a thumbs up or thumbs up? Oh, he's just saying oh, no. no. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. So, go ahead. No. Go ahead, Brad. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Brad, show me what you got. So, if you all was wondering when I was counting, I didn't know how many spikes ran down each side. Mm -hmm. It was like either four or five. Okay. And then I, mean, I forgot if there was one in the middle, so that was my issue. I mean, okay, it, it looks, the, the, the overall shape, the overall shape is there. You got, you got the correct amount of spikes, you got the head spikes. Um, I think what it comes down to is the details of the mask. The big eyes, but like, there, there, there's, there's some parts that you're missing that make it look a little like where you just zoned out. I see you, I see you. Um, <laughs> So, well, you know, Skull Cave, you be doing a lot of things out there. In yeah, you never know. I mean, <laughs> you never know. They, uh... Walk in wow. the helium grass. <laughs> um, Talk about a decking tree it's burning pretty, down. <laughs> it's pretty on point, though, in terms of the actual, like, shape. So, I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you a six for this. I'm going to give you a six for this. All right, next up. Okay. All right. Uh, we have all the spikes there. Overall shape is on there. You have little eyes, um, so they're, they're like the bigger iris and then the, the pupil. I would probably give this a, I'm going to give this a seven. A, a little bit more detail than what the Brad has. I think you're closer to it. So, let's us then jump over to he, he said no. He, he said, uh, he, like, unfortunately. Yeah, we have to. We have to. We have to take a look at it. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, hold on. I got the perfect rules. Here, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. You have a detail that these two lack, and that's the little like, the the, the mouth holes, like the the little. I am. The bottom parts. That might be redeeming. And <laughs> it still it still looks like a mask. It looks more like Crash Bandicoot mask though, <laughs> which is which is interesting. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't hate this. I think this is your best uh, your best attempt so far today. I'm gonna give this a five. I'm gonna give this a five. All right, Brad. I like it. I actually like it. Uh, like it a lot. Uh, there's a theme that I noticed. You guys are going with the horn going inner. Horns are supposed to go straight. That's one thing Stigma got. They're not supposed to bend. Um, you guys, obviously, you have one minute. You're going to do the pattern. Uh, you have a nice shape. Uh, you have the right number of, of uh, little spikes. I'm going to give you a seven. Avro. Uh, I like the ice. You got the little nipple looking thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he did sort of, with, with, the, with the pattern on top, it does kind of make it look like cleavage. <laughs> he goes, he got the nipples. All right, I'm going to deduct points from, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> the spikes in the bottom are very small. They go from being really big to getting really small. Uh, I'll give it a five okay. for yours. Stay on. Your mask looks like the mask that your horse will wear. Um, <laughs> that looks like if the Skull Kid got punched in the face by Oh My and the mask broke and he's like <laughs> trying to put it back together, that's what your mask looks like. Um, that's not a mask. Uh, that is uh, some type of ceremonial ritual mask that somebody will wear when they wanted to kill themselves or something like that. Uh, Did you just say that that's not a mask yeah, yeah, and no, then I, said it was a mask? No, no, yeah, yeah. It's, I, I contract myself. Tradition. However, you did get the bottom piece, which nobody did get, uh, which is nice. Um, I'm, I'm trying to say something nice, bro. I'm, I really am. I want to say your, the shape's good, but like, it's not. It's like a, it looks like a heart somebody punched. Um, it looks like you just gave up. You said fuck it. Um, the spikes are in the. You have the spikes by the head. Um, I actually have a. Drawing here, it looks like King Ramses from Courage the Cowardly Dog. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> return the mask. But, you know what? No, I feel it's... gracious. Uh, you're giving me enough laughs with these. I am honestly going to give you a. I'm being nice just this one round, I'm going to give you an A. I like the, the details on the mask. I think it looks pretty close to what's there. I mean, I know you didn't have enough time to finish it, but I'm going to give that one a solid seven. All right, Admiral, 
I like what you're doing here. The, the mask is a little off um, when it comes to the shape wise, um, but I do like what you have detail wise. I think you did really well with that. Um, spikes are good. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and give you uh, an eight. Definitely an eight. Stigma. I love that you're trying so hard. <laughs> I don't know if it's the mask that's, you know, distorting your view when you're drawing. You definitely tried here. I saw strawberry when I, because of the dots at the bottom, but you did get that point and nobody else did. So it's like somebody got really angry at their strawberry and just started sticking like toothpicks in it or something. But I like the, the, the spikes on the top because they're, they're definitely correct. Um, Interpretation-wise, I think you did good with decorating your mask, but it's not accurate with like with the eyes and everything. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a, I'll give you a five. Bro, that's the Tamora mask. That's like something for. <laughs> that's the Lyru version of the mask. It only looks like he didn't get enough sleep, and he's just like, fuck. Oh, <laughs> guys, you're I gotta go to board. work today. <laughs> this round will be the score will be from one through twenty. So you have a chance to get a perfect twenty. Uh, draw Princess Zelda. Go. Any variant. Any variant. There's only one right answer, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to let you know every 10 seconds, so 50 seconds left. This has been a ride. Yeah. yeah this has been a ride. Who you guys, if you could give somebody the MVP award, who would you say? Uh, I guess it depends on 40 how, seconds. how we rate MVP. Like, who, whose drawing have you enjoyed the most? Uh, like from laughs or from an artistic standpoint? Either, 30 seconds. <laughs> from an artistic standpoint, I think uh, Admiral has just had that slight edge, but yeah. from a laugh standpoint, I gotta give the stigma. I'm gonna say Brad uh, and Admiral have been killing it. I, I would have to agree with that. Yeah. Definitely. 15 seconds, boys. I'm very interested to see which one these gentlemen prefer. Five seconds. Do you have a favorite? Uh, yeah, it's definitely the one from uh, uh, Skyward Sword. And done. Put your marker down. <laughs> I was going to start over and do Skyward Sword. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brad. Show me behind uh, door number one, Zelda behind door number one. I was going to get, you know, I'll just show my heart. I ain't going to get about it. Aww. This, this is Toon Zelda. Uh, adorable. I mean, it is cute. It is definitely cute. It looks more like the like a drawn Zelda, like um, from Link Between Worlds. Yeah, that's what the, I meant. the 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 ones that are on the <laughs> <laughs> the ones the, the ones that uh, would appear on the sides of the walls, uh, oh. and has the Triforce there. So two it's definitely them. Zelda. Two two of them. I, I, apparently, this one's stronger than the rest. Yeah. Um, I'll give you fifteen. Ooh, okay. I'll give you a fifteen. Okay. We'll go along with that. Ooh. It's not it's not a Zelda that I've seen seen before. Emma, are you laughing because you saw stigmas? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's oh. not a Zelda I've seen before, but I would still be interested in seeing that Zelda. Alright, Admiral. 2023. Zelda behind door number two. Let me see it. Snack. <laughs> Yo, that's a fairy god parrot. <laughs> that's poof after she gets older. Looks like Zelda of the swamp. <laughs> that's a skull kid dressed as Zelda. <laughs> so why did that take you a minute? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I messed up, so I just went with it. Sometimes yeah. so the, the thing, the thing that I'm struggling with this, this one, okay is at least we have the Triforce from Brad that kind of signifies that it's from Zelda. I... Yeah, I wanted to draw the which, one from Wind Waker, but I messed up her hair. Okay, so. okay. She it just... A, you know, you know what she looks like? I don't. That's, it looks, that's what I was fucking up. It, it looks, looks like... like, like I, okay, I can, I can see where you're coming from, but at the same time, like, I'm looking at it, and it just looks like Poncho. Like, it looks like that. a Zelda with a Poncho. We have Damn. a D20 if you uh, want to roll that for a score. I'm a... I'm gonna give you an eight. Oh wait. Because it's a person. A, it's low because we're doing twenty. Okay. Yes, it's a person, and it's got a crown, 
So I appreciate that because that's what I would have gave myself. But no, but nothing <laughs> nothing signifies Legend of Zelda for me on this. So I think that if you would have had some type of icon on it, I would have probably given you a little more. All right. And the main event. Stigma. <laughs> no, the Bokoblin was the first round. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the thing that I like about your drawing, in particular, is the fact that you gave them the Hylian ears. Because, uh, I mean, the, the, Le the Legend of Zelda, the, the Hylians, all have like the elf-like ears. So, I Legend see that. I see the attempt. But, um... Is she has a you couldn't... <laughs> like, I, I feel like you could have used more of the board for some more detail for a portrait. Like we have we have full bodies and then this is like just a very tiny portion of the board. We give you a five. That's okay. Could could be way better, but you you at least you at least drew something. So I'm I'm gonna just roll with that a five. All right, Brad. I want you to be honest with me. Did you just draw a girl on either Triforce? No, I was I was going for it. So I started with the crown right, which is up here. Cause she has the number four from Kids Next Door hair. And then she has like some top of my. Yeah, Alright, so like initially when I drew the head, I drew that, I'm like, fuck, it's gonna look like a little boy. It's gonna look like coconut head from Nasty Classic, right? <laughs> but, but that's when I went for the long hair. But I forget, she flows a little bit. Yeah. And then I forget, she doesn't have a crown, she has like a tiara. So it's like right? Tuntella. And that's, yeah, that's what I fucked up. Okay. Because I was like, crown? Nah, tiara. So I like the Triforce a lot. Is she sitting down or is that like the seam of the dress, the little that's round thing? the seam of the dress. Okay, that's what She's I thought. Like I figure I asked. Yeah. Uh, I like that a lot. I ain't gonna give you a 19 for that. That is actually really good. Uh, that's really good. Admiral, uh, so I, I roasted you earlier. I'm not gonna keep going right now. Um, is that even a girl? Like, is it a boy or a girl? That it's could, a girl. I okay. just, I was trying to do the hair thing because like one of the Zeldas has like braided hair and then like I only have a minute, so when I fuck up in the first five seconds, I just say fuck it. That's what happened with the horse. I was like, I don't have time to erase and start over. So I just kept going and just tried my best to make it look like a girl. I'm gonna so, I'm be, I'm be honest, I'm gonna double back here. It looks like the child from Resident Evil 7. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest, uh, you have my second least favorite. I think it's very obvious where I'm heading. Uh, <laughs> The crown looks like something out of Fairy Odd. It looks like you stole the crown from either Cosmo Rwanda or King K. Rool. So I literally did the crown um, in like the last three seconds. <laughs> I'm going to give you a 12. Okay. For that. All right, stay well. So um, your drawing is very difficult for me to judge because, honest to God, I thought that was a Bokoblin. Uh, that's the first thing that came to mind. Yeah, one ear, if one looks like an this, ear, the other one. Round. Yeah. <laughs> one looks like an ear, the other one just looks it like. It looks like oh, it fixed this one. It's, it looks like someone took a hot dog and just kind of like in the back of her head. So doesn't this one look like somebody threw like a tomahawk at her head and stuff? <laughs> Oh my goodness, I see it now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not going to judge you based on that, even though Abro did ruin that for me just now. <laughs> Two, it looks like she's wearing a COVID mask. There's no face. What, where is the mouth? Uh, like, is that a mouth or a nose? I ran out of time for the mouth. Okay, so, so to me, to that looks like the lines... Mouth like that? <laughs> that? To me, that looks like the lines that you get under, like, anime characters, you get under the eyes. Uh, I'll be honest with you, man. Like... <laughs> I can't believe you wasted a whole fucking minute on that. <laughs> like, for you. <laughs> I'm going to give you a seven for that. Uh, that's me being nice. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Brad, I definitely like your drawing. I think Thank you put a lot of work in it for, you know, only having a minute. And the Triforces definitely added that special touch. Thank you. So I'm, I don't know why these guys are dancing around it. I'm giving it a 20. Woo! That's a rock. Give her a 19. Yeah. Why not the extra point? It's definitely, definitely 20 points Thank worthy. You. Thank you. Thank um, well, compared to the other two. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> compared to the other two, like, you're a god of this round. <laughs> Admiral, I definitely appreciate the try here. Um, <laughs> the try. <laughs> it is a very scary Zelda. Um, Hera needs some help. She looks like she's wearing a frock, but if it's creepy, I do like it. So I'm gonna give you 11 just because this is a bonus round and we can give you an 11. That's the little so. girls from uh, Bioshock 2. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we're all bringing up horror games. I just noticed the hand though, the left hand, is 
kind of like... Yeah, just three fingers. She lost yeah. them. She had to eat them to survive. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely like that. Zorba. Uh, stigma. <laughs> I'm really at a loss for words here. Um... I mean, like, you got the Zelda hair thingies, but I keep seeing Waluigi's face with the mustache, and I don't want to understand how that happened, so we're just going to move past that. Um, you're going to get a five from me. That one's just, it's not cutting it. But good try. Definitely good try. All right, guys. Matt, you got the score? Third place, second, and third. I do. I mean, provided that my math is correct, there is a clear winner. So, in third place Sorry. with 53 points, it is Stigma. <laughs> in second place with 86 points, it is Admiral. With a whopping 110 points is the Brad. Congratulations, guys. Great drawings. Admiral, do you feel like you were targeted at all? No, you don't feel targeted? I feel like they were very fair. Do you feel that when you're returning in the judges panel, you're going to be a little bit more, or you think you're going to keep being the like Darth Vader of the judges panel? I don't know how it is. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was everything today for Drart. Thank you for watching. Uh, there's going to be two videos here. Just pick whichever one you want to watch, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.